Kubota currently makes four diesel mowers that are commercial series, and that's the ZD series. They've made other series in the past, but the current series is the ZD. It starts with the 1011, which we have here, and then it goes on up in horsepower to the 1021, which is a 21 horsepower. This is a 19 horsepower. And then the 1211, which is a 24 horsepower. And then finally the 1511, which is a 30 horsepower and actually requires emissions. It has a diesel particulate filter. But the other three mowers that are lower grade than the 1511, they do not have any emissions on them. And that's an important part of this series. And we're gonna to touch on those points as we go over the mower deck. So there's no better place to start this review than the front of this mower. So the first thing we'll start with is underneath this little dash right here or a hood, I guess, you can see the front axle. I and mean, we're gonna do a separate video on how this pivots and how it lifts up the mower so that you can get to the mower deck. But you have this jack handle right here, you have a jack screw up under here, and then you have either a free floating axle or one that you can pin. You got two L-shaped pins right here, and you can actually put them through the axle in that position and this position or you can leave it like it is here. So if you leave the axle free floating, then you'll get a better ride across uneven surfaces. And if you pin the axle, you actually keep the mower deck straight as you go over uneven surfaces. It's just a matter of what you wanna get out of your mower, but Kubota gives you some options here. So we'll start here with the mower deck. This particular mower has the 54 inch deck and it's called the ACS deck. And that's the aerodynamic cutting system. And what Kubota has done is they've created a deck that is very efficient and doesn't require a lot of horsepower because they want to put the biggest deck they can on these mowers and not get all of their mower line into that emissions class. So having this 19 horsepower mower, the biggest deck you can get for it is the 54 inch. If you go up to the 1021, the bigger brother to this mower, which essentially is the same mower with a bigger engine and a bigger deck, you can go up to a 60 inch deck. The 1211, which is the 24 horsepower mower, you can get up to a 72 inch deck. And then of course with the 1511, the 30 horsepower mower, you can also get up to a 72 inch deck. What it boiled down to us at Piney Grove when we made the decision to buy this mower, the lower end of the ZD model, was really affordability. We have six acres out here in the front that we have to mow regularly, and also one acre in the back part of the property, as well as three quarters of a mile of perimeter that we have to mow and we really wanted the 72 inch mower. But the starting price of this mower is $16,000 and it goes up over $24,000 for the 1511. So we felt that this was a good compromise between the reliability and the durability of diesel and also giving us a fairly large mower deck. It wasn't worth it to us to pay the additional five or $6,000 more to get the 1211 series with the 24 horsepower engine where we could run a 72 inch deck. So those are things that we weighed back and forth when we were looking at mowers and we came to the conclusion that we can make another pass or two with a 54 inch deck and feel a lot better about it rather than spending six or 8,000 more just to get a mower that could accommodate a wider deck. We'll pop the hood here and show you the simplicity of this engine design. And if you're not used to the ZD or the bigger commercial type of mowers, this actually is completely guarded all the way around with heavy gauge steel. And the motor is very integral to the zero turn, as opposed to what I've seen on other zero turns where there's a platform and like a wire cage that protects the motor. This motor has a purpose built engine bay. So we have a metal cowling. We have a three cylinder diesel motor that's putting out, I believe it's 19.1 horsepower. And you'll also notice that the engine is in line that way. And what I mean is that the crankshaft of the engine is in line this way rather than vertical. So let's call it a horizontal crankshaft. And that's because this is a gearbox driven mower, not a belt driven mower. There's actually a gearbox in the mower deck and not a belt that connects the motor to the mower deck. So maintenance for this mower should be fairly easy. You see a very easy to get to oil filter right there. Come around here to this side, see a very easy to get to fuel filter here. And then one down there that's not quite as easy to get to, but it shouldn't be too bad. The engine oil dipstick is right there. And then the engine oil fill is right here. So that makes it real easy to check the oil and also add oil if needed. Sticking with the ease of servicing theme, this seat lifts up 
There's a little lever down there. So with the seat folded up, you can see the hydrostatic filter there. It's a hydrostatic drive mower, two speed, and it's also a hydraulic deck. So there's the cylinder that raises the deck. There's the fuse panel. It's how you fill the oil in the hydrostatic transmission. And then right next to it, there's a dipstick to check the oil in the transmission. Another thing to make note of is you'll see the shaft right there. That is coming out of the engine and going to the mower deck, to the gearbox on the mower deck. To lower the seat, you just take this little bracket here and pull it towards you, and that allows the seat to fall back into place. Sitting in the operator station, we have a very comfortable chair here with armrest, and it also is adjustable for your weight right here. You can increase or decrease the tension. You have your two drive arms here. Off to the left, I have a fuel gauge a temperature gauge. Over to the right, I have the key, the mower deck setting, uh, some lights for the engine, and also the PTO and the throttle on the right-hand side. In front of me, I have the parking brake. So the parking brake is set with two feet. You push down on the big pedal, take the second one, and that will lock the machine in place. Now what we found is that as soon as you do that, if your handles are in, the machine is gonna cut itself off. So you want it, if you want it to sit in idle, then you gotta put these handles out before you set the parking brake or else it will shut off. This pedal down here is the control for the hydraulics to raise and lower the motor deck. And what you do is you raise it, you make your adjustment, and then you let it down and it'll sit down on that adjustment. So this lever right here, once you've got the mower deck where you want it, this lever like right here will lock in the mower deck. And then this panel right here gives you access to that gearbox I was talking about earlier. And this gearbox is run directly from that shaft from the motor it has an oil level indicator here, and then from here, a single belt drives the three spindles. We'll show you one of the spindles. So it's a three-bladed system, and here's one of the spindles here and the pulleys with the single belt. And this is easily accessible to grease that spindle. And the other grease fittings are tucked under the machine, but with the mower deck in the lower position, you can get to them fairly easily. And this is just held on with one clip. And there's one just like it on the other side. To start the machine, make sure the parking brake's on, put these handles in the out position, take the key and turn it. The throttle is the red lever here, and the PTO, which I'm not gonna engage, is the yellow lever. Now to raise and lower the, the mower deck, you push this pedal right here, you'll see the mower deck raise, then I switch this to say four inches, and I let it down, and the mower's at four inches. So let's let it down all the way to one inch, you can see how low the mower deck goes. Another very important feature for mowers is the ability to keep the radiator clean. And Kubota's put a fine mesh screen here in front of the radiator that's easy to brush off and blow off. And that way you don't get debris in the fins of your radiator and cause an overheating condition. And of course you should always monitor your temperature gauge over here on this side because most likely an overheat condition is going to be because this screen has a lot of debris on it. So Kubota offers mower decks in two configurations, a right discharge and then also a rear discharge. This is a right discharge so all the grass is going to come out on the right side of the mower. Kubota does have what's called an operator control discharge chute that will mount right there and it allows the operator to close off that discharge when you're near flower beds. One thing I wanted to make note of of this deck is not only is it a heavy gauge steel deck, just the deck itself, but it also has this ring of probably 3 16 steel all the way around it. You can see there's a little bit of yard rash here on this deck, but with that thick of steel, this mower deck was designed to last for a very long time. The key to longevity on a machine like this is keeping up with the maintenance and Kubota makes it easy by putting a maintenance placard on the inside of the engine cowling and you can see it right here. There aren't many options you can buy for a zero turn that Kubota doesn't already include, but this canopy here is an option. This is an actual Kubota canopy. It runs you about 750 or so at the dealer, but you can get aftermarket ones that are a lot cheaper, but we definitely recommend that you get a canopy to protect yourself from the sun. And in fact, Mrs. Piney Grove, who this machine was bought for so she can help us mow out here at the farm, that was one of her requirements is that we have a canopy. We may be hooking up a set of fans later, 
We'll have to see on that one. So to wrap up this video, we're not gonna show how to operate this mower because we're not experts with zero turn. This is the first zero turn we've bought and it is an investment for us. And over time, as we learn the nuances of how to operate it, we'll do more videos. That's gonna wrap up our walk around of this Kubota Diesel ZD1011 mower with the 54 inch ACS cutting deck. We sure appreciate you watching. We'll throw up some links to a couple of our other videos. And until the next one, y'all take care out there. And remember, life's short, tractor hard.